Good morning, gurus. Welcome to another episode. Hope you have a beautiful day. I know who sold and dropped Bitcoin this week. I've got a tweet about it. I'm going to show you. Mt. Gox transferred 140,000, uh, sorry, 110,000 Bitcoin this month. They only have 30,000 Bitcoin left. Yesterday, the last two days, they moved 30,000 Bitcoin. That's what caused Bitcoin to drop from 61 down to 56 it was mount gox moving the funds we dropped from 61 down to 58 bounced and then came down to 56 um crypto market cap 2.1 trillion 50 000 viewers now on bitcoin price dot live and you can see bitcoin just reached 59,800, created a triple top one two three triple top 59,800, and pulled back to 58,800. still up a lot from yesterday 56 we're still in extreme fear. Bitcoin is sitting at 58,800 and we're still at extreme fear, which is incredible. We're going to jump in the charts for Bitcoin. I'm going to show you my $580,000 account. I'm going to show you my trades and I'm going to show you Ethereum. Hit the subscribe button, smash up thumbs up button, turn on the bell. Let me know in the comment section any questions or, and I'm going to read your questions at the end and let me know any tickers you'd like me to analyze. I'll do those in the video. Let's jump into technicals for Bitcoin now. We're going into the technicals. Tesla was up a little bit. It reset. Tesla was up a little bit. MCRT up a little bit. Bitcoin slightly down. Bitcoin 58,846. We're going on Bybit Perpetuals on the weekly. I'm on tradingview.com. Weekly charts, we still got the same patterns. Big cup and handle. Uh, there's three main patterns. I made a video about it. Three huge bullish patterns. Volume is still looking good. Stochastic turning up. Volume turning up. Bitcoin indicator, but which is in the crypto master course. JamesCryptoGuru.com. Still a blue buy. Not yet fire to sell. Bitcoin indicator, but fire to sell. Did not yet fire a buy. Stochastic oversold turning up. Looking good. Daily. Let's go closer now. We start off on the longer term time frames. Looks like it's creating inverse head and shoulder or a W formation here a little bit. Or like inverse head and shoulders could be. Could be like shoulder, head, shoulder. Something is forming here. Stochastic still heading up, reaching overbought. Volume still good. Might get bad on the weekend though. But we are in the second to third impulse wave. Could close before the weekend because usually on Sundays we get an attack. Am I seeing that right now? Not really. It, to me, it looks like there's three big patterns. We've got this kind of channel forming here. Descending, broadening wedge. I would still take the trade from where I had it the last few days, uh, since yesterday. 53.391, just think, ah, no, we have strong support here now. Trying to take a short, uh, long from here. 56, stop loss 55, 200, take profit 72, risk to reward 19 times, risking $829 to make $16,000 with no leverage, 10x leverage $160,000. So again, that opens at 56, stop loss 55, 200, take profit 72, 20, risk to reward. That's the trade I would take on Bitcoin. So how you read my trades, the gray line is where the trade opens, where you, it activates, where you put the open trade, stop loss where it automatically closes, 55,200, take profit is the green line, 70K. That's the trade I would take on Bitcoin. Now I'm going to show you my Bitcoin trades. Um, you can sign up to trade using Bybit. It's the best exchange. You never get liquidation spikes. It's a very strong exchange. One of my favorite exchanges to use. Um, take the crypto master course to learn all this and trade and then join us in the telegram 9,000 of you inside the telegram over on Bybit my account is 575,000 this week this month has been a banger of a month this week also this week we're at 602 577 598 down to 564 back to 575 and this month even more of a roll because from 579 to 532 to 612 to 577 to 598 to 564 to 575 sideways moving week i've got a six i've got a three hundred and sixteen thousand dollar bitcoin trade open it's six thousand seven hundred in the profits and this trade has had a fluctuation the same as um, my account it went like negative thirty thousand positive twenty thousand negative yesterday three hundred dollars back to positive ten eleven thousand dollars last night now positive six thousand dollars so this trade is in effect and this is the breakdown of my account I've got Ethereum, 3%, USDT, 28%, Bitcoin, 29%, MCRT, 13%, Uniswap, 12%, Doge, 7%. Now let's do Ethereum and then we're going to check your questions. Actually, let's go into your questions first. 
awesome theme song and credits add in higher production quality thank you otter thank you very much james from ukraine thank you um james what do you think about potential icp coin i think icp launched like a crazy valuation crashed down and is still very low so it could be good to pick up but i have to do ta the buzz around you matic is hard to ignore might be time to dive sounds a bit I don't know what it is. These look like scams. See where they're repeating? Umatic, Umanitic. I never buy ones where people spam. When they spam like this, I automatically assume um, it's like a scammer. We were all laughing when Germany was selling Bitcoin at 60k. Seems like they were months ahead of the game. I mean, you seem to be short-sighted in your outlook for crypto and Bitcoin. Me, I, I see that as well. Remember, the market cap right now, good morning, good morning. Um, I, I, this weekend could be a bloodbath. I think so too. The SEC isn't doing their job. They should go after American government for not, for not selling on OTC market. Correct. I figured out why I like your videos, James. You look like the fellow from Indiana Jones, Indy's friend. Cool. Um, where to buy price? Don't know. I, uh, I buy on Bybit. I love you, my man. I'm super excited to watch your videos every morning. Thank you, Drift. Um, we are buying the Bitcoin the US government sells. Apparently, it wasn't. So... It wasn't the U.S. government. They moved 10,000 Bitcoin yesterday, but they didn't sell it. They still hold 203,000 Bitcoin. It was Mt. Gox. And I'll show you this here. So this is my ex. I have 86,500 followers. Went up 1,000 followers the last two days. <clears throat> this was me in 2018 telling everyone to buy Bitcoin at 920, Ethereum at $10, XRP at 0 0.006. Hopefully some of you listened to me. Uh, Mt. Gox distributed 33,000 Bitcoin this week from 141,000 Bitcoin on July 1st to now 33,000 Bitcoin remaining in Mt. Gox. This month we absorbed, so we absorbed into Bitcoin 108,000 Bitcoin, everyone, has been sold this month. <coughs> so this is the Mt. Gox trustee wallet. You can see from July 1st, they had 141,000 Bitcoin. By August 15th, which was two days ago, they have 32,000 Bitcoin. Even August 9th, so this week, August 9th to August 15th, they transferred 33,000 Bitcoin this week out to Mt. Gox creditors. So this week, this month, the last month and a half, we've had 110,000, uh, how much did we say? We had 108,000 Bitcoin that was dumped into the market. So what is Mt. Gox, everyone, if you don't know? Mt. Gox was one of the original exchanges before Binance came, CZ came and made the crypto exchanges much better and much safer. Before that, you had shitty exchanges where you could get robbed. The exchanges could go down. That's why you always self-custody. Keep most of your money in your crypto, in your ledger or your cold wallets. Um, and Mt. Gox went down. This was many years ago in 2015, 13 13 to 15, I can't remember exactly. And, and um, Mt. Gox went down and a lot of people lost their crypto stuck in that exchange when it went down. They lost their Bitcoin. It was the only, it was the main exchange for trading Bitcoin. It was the only exchange for trading Bitcoin back then, 2013. When it went down, they got stuck. Their crypto got stuck. And now Mt. Gox, 11 years later, 11 years later, so they, they lost Bitcoin when it was in the $1,000 range. 11 years later, they're getting it redistributed to them at $70,000. So in a way, they, they were forced to hold, which is good news. But in that distribution, when 108,000 Bitcoin is sent onto the markets, you expect selling pressure. And that's why we've been dropping. But what's unbelievable is Bitcoin is holding on. With 108,000 Bitcoin being sold, yet Bitcoin is still holding on. That's crazy to think how powerful Bitcoin is right now. Um, imagine, if you will, that Mexico invaded Texas with the full support of Russia, Chinese, and Iran. The, their weapons are supplied by these countries. So you're saying what, what's happening now with Russia, how it's surrounded by U.S. forces and stuff. Of course they're going to attack. This is Ron, Robert Kennedy, the, one of the good politicians that's pushing for no war. Magic Stream was two hours ago. There was $3,000 in prizes i think it was three thousand dollars there was huge prices for this gaming competition bitcoin etf inflows this week are slow having 81 million outflows of course because and 11 million outflows of course because we had um we had so much uh mount gox funds dumped into the market let's go into ethereum ethereum 2593 i would keep the same trade from which trade did I set up? Both not activated. I would keep this 2461, stop loss 2359, take profit 47. Sorry, 4700. Uh, let's go into more of your messages. James, where can I buy Tesla spot? Uh, Tesla is not a cryptocurrency, it's a stock. You can buy 
um, Tesla. I use Interactive Brokers, Charles Schwab. They're the two best exchanges for, for trading. This video made me laugh so hard. This video made me laugh so hard. I spilled my coffee. Great start today. Thank you, Saturn. Um, you're the best. Thank you, Victoria. And let's check out what's happening in the Telegram. In the Telegram, there was some arguments, some charts showing different meme coins. I'd be careful buying meme coins, everyone. Try to get really good alts after the dump would be my opinion. Try to catch some really cool alts after the dump. Let's see what I'm holding the most. Oh, let's read. Yeah, let's see what I'm holding the most of. So Ethereum, USTT, Bitcoin, MCRT, Uni. I want to see Uni how it pumped. And then that's it. Uh, I'll leave it at that, guys. Quickly, Uniswap, $6.40. Didn't move, interesting. Didn't drop, didn't move. Yes, the last few days it pumped, though. It's holding its price from $4.70 to $6.60. And again, I managed to buy Uniswap so well. Look at my buys on Uniswap. They were perfect on the dump. I sold Uniswap at $7 before the dump and then purchased it at the low. I got in at $4.70. Look at my sell and then look at my buys. $4.70 managed to grab a lot. Let's go back into technicals for Uni. Looks like it's getting ready for a big move, in my opinion. We had that big sell-off, though. That pushed it really hard down. I would say that's the trend. But in my opinion, the base of the triangle is the distance that Uni can go once it breaks out. $16 would be... $18 is my target. Opening at $5.50 would be the best entry. That's my updates in the market, everyone. Again, all the links are down below. The exchanges, Bybit is the best exchange for trading. You get a $60,000 bonus now when you meet that link. Take the courses, 333, best money you'll ever spend. And we're getting a bit of a rebound on this account this week. 575, very fluctuating. $7,000 profit on my Bitcoin trade. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's my updates in the market. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section or in the Telegram. You can join us right now in the Telegram. There's... 113 of you online discussing love you all have an amazing day be careful on the weekends on sunday usually they try to do an attack on the markets so if there is a big spike down make sure your liquidation is below 48k if you have a long on bitcoin and be careful not to be spooked out of the market on the sunday when they do these attacks because usually it rebounds very quickly on monday if there is one hopefully there isn't love you all if you have any questions let me know down below have an amazing weekend enjoy your life think only positive thoughts enjoy the people you're in uh, you're with and try to be present look around you be present in the room take deep breaths be slow be listening to people be aware be present where you are in the moment not think in the future it's imagination not think about the past and your memories their imagination only here love you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all again tomorrow